Hey everybody, welcome to Formula Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're going to talk about Formula Map. What Formula Map allows you to do is apply the same action to a list of items in a table. So it allows you to take one thing and apply it en masse to a bunch of, of different values. Oftentimes you're going to be using Formula Map in conjunction with buttons and automations. So it is a little bit more advanced, but I think it's still really valuable for us to chat about. So let's take a look at an example over here. What I want to do is I want to use the Slack pack and this button to send a reminder of this to do to whoever's in the row. In this case, I want to remind Charlotte and Laura that it's time to write that email. Now I could go through one at a time, but I can also really use Formula Map to streamline all of this. So let's go ahead, open this up and crack the code. So I'm going to go to my button menu and here in the action, notice I've got my formula. So let's break this down. Formula Map, remember, has a formula and then a target, the list of items. In this case, my target is the people. So whatever people are in this row, and then I want to pull their email address. Then I'm applying this action of posting a message to Slack to their Slack uh, identity with uh, this message. And here's concatenate coming through saying, hey, check out your to-do list of whatever is in this row of the to-do. And we want to pull the current value. So whatever it is right now. This is allowing us to take that moment and apply it across the board. So now when we push this send Slack, it's going to send a reminder of, hey, check out your to-do list of write a blog post right here to Charlotte and Laura. So it's a way for us to kind of optimize and build a process out of this particular flow. So when you're thinking about your own formula maps, I encourage you start small and really think about what are the different actions I want to run? And is it something that's happening to a large list of items or is it more of a one-on-one? -on -one? Because remember, you always can use this row in conjunction with buttons as well. With that, take a look at your docs and I'll see you next time.